Welcome back. It's your favorite spoiler from Movie Drilling. For more updates, you can like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. When the 100 Bomb Group, piloted by Robert Rosie Rosenthal, is the only aircraft to return to Thorpe Abbott's from the Munster Raid in Masters of the Air, the lieutenant colonel establishes a reputation for himself and goes on to survive World War II and accomplish numerous other noteworthy missions. The third mission of what was known as Black Week was the Munster Raid. The 100 and other U.S. Air Force soldiers suffered terrible losses on numerous perilous sorties during these few days. The fact that Rosenthal and his crew survived the continuing catastrophe was a miracle. The men were already at a disadvantage before the Munster raid began, as was the case with many of the 100 actions. The group was only allowed to launch 17 planes into the Munster raid instead of the required 2021 since they had already lost a few aircraft during the previous Bremen mission. Then, four planes had mechanical problems that forced them to return early in the mission. Only Rosenthal's aircraft, Royal Flush, returned to base after reaching Munster, and he provided an account of what transpired with the other 11. Not all members of the 100 were as fortunate as others in being able to leave their planes. Robert Rosenthal stayed with the 100 after making it through only his third mission, the Munster Raid, in October 1943. Rosenthal took to the skies in a plane known as Rosie's Riveters, and by March 1944, he and his team had completed and survived 25 sorties. Rosenthal's 25th flight fell in the middle of Big Week, when the 8th Air Force's 100 and other squadrons conducted risky operations over Berlin. Rosenthal and his Riveters managed to live in spite of this. Rosenthal was free to go home and end the war, just like Captain Glenn Dye. Rosenthal had the option to go home after finishing his 25 missions, but in the end he chose to stay with the 100. He believed that it would be improper to send unskilled substitutes on missions that he could easily accomplish on his own, as shown in Masters of the Air Episode 7. Rosenthal continued his tour of duty, which at the time seemed like an odd choice, and he flew 52 missions in all during World War Roman II. Rosenthal rose to prominence as one of the 100 most accomplished pilots in this fashion. Nor was the Munster raid his only noteworthy expedition. Robert Rosenthal became the 350 Bombardment Squadron's commander at the same time, he made the decision to stay with the 100 after completing his allotted 25 flights. Rosenthal was truly honored to hold this designation, and he continued to do so until the end of his tour of service. Rosenthal commanded a portion of the 100 and stayed in the U.S. Army Air Forces until the final days of the war in the first few months of 1945. Rosenthal witnessed the worst fighting the 8th Air Force had ever seen, but he also witnessed the U.S. overtaking the Germans. Among Rosenthal's noteworthy missions was not the Munster Raid. Rosenthal's aircraft was shot down over German-occupied France in September 1944. With the aid of the Free French, Rosenthal was able to return to service despite having broken both his nose and his arm. Afterwards, on his second-to-last mission in February 1945, Rosenthal's jet caught fire as he was bombing Berlin. He remained in the jet until they reached their bombing location, and he managed to flee just seconds before it exploded. Rosenthal was saved by the Allies once more and went back to work right away. After the war, Rosenthal's duty also continued. Even after the war ended in 1945, Rosenthal stayed in Europe to support the Nuremberg trials. He personally questioned Hermann Göring when he was there. At the trials, he also got to know his wife, a lawyer who was a member of the U.S. Navy Women's Reserve. Together, the two had three children when they came back to the U.S. The date of Rosenthal's death was April 20, 2007. Masters of the Air portrays Robert Rosie Rosenthal's story as one of the most remarkable in the grim history of the 100. Thank you once again. At Movie Drilling, we provide you with everything you need to know. For more, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.